Hello, uh, my name is Fiona Field. I'm the Independent Chair of the Safeguarding Adults Board for Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. Um, we've produced a very short video just to do an introduction to our annual report. Um, you'll be hearing from both myself and several members of the Safeguarding Adult Board um, about the work that's been going on over the last year. Our particular issue has been about improving partnership with people and that's the way the SAB wants to work. So we've been improving some of the basics. Um, the basics being things like having a really clear policy and procedure so that all people know what to do when they are concerned about a possible safeguarding issue. Um, we've been doing a lot of work about engaging with all sorts of people, both professional people, the voluntary and independent sector, and also importantly, members of the public. So we have produced a guide and there are now 15,000 of these are in and around Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. It tells us what to do if we are concerned about somebody. So that might be somebody you work with, it might be a friend, a colleague, a, a family member, or indeed it might be somebody who you just know, a neighbour or somebody that you know who lives locally and you're concerned that something doesn't feel quite right. So it's very important in safeguarding that we know what to do and who to tell confidentially and share that concern so something can be done about it. So please look out for these leaflets in and around Cornwall. 15,000 have gone out, as I said, but actually we can produce many, many more. So if you haven't seen one, tell someone you haven't seen them and we'll make sure that leaflets are available. Um, you're going to hear now from several members of the Safeguarding Adults Board about the specific work that they have been involved in and leading on the board. The Council of the Isles of Scilly is a separate unitary authority from Cornwall Council with the same duties to safeguard um, adults um, as Cornwall Council, so we work in partnership with colleagues on the mainland. We're really glad to be a part of this group because we too want to be held to account by partner agencies and to quality assure the um, safeguarding work that we do on the islands. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the work of the Quality and Improvement subgroup um, and how it can help with the board's work plan. Uh, a key focus of the work this year has been on supporting people who use our emergency services frequently and a, a focus for next year will be in um, supporting people who neglect themselves. Uh, so my name is Matt Longman, uh, I'm the Partnership Police Superintendent for Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly uh, and I'm also the Deputy Chair of the uh, Safeguarding Adults Board. Okay, but what I also do, where my work really lies, is I'm the Chair of a subgroup um, and what that means is uh, the subgroup is the Missing and Exploitation Group. Um, so like its name suggests, that's a group that looks at all things missing and exploitation uh, and really works with all the partner agencies sit in it, um, but also the third sector, and work at trying to make sure Cornwall's doing all it can to safeguard people who are affected by those issues. So, having heard a little bit from members of the board about the work that's been going on, I just wanted to summarise by talking about another particularly important element of the board and work of the board, which is a thing called a SAR, which is a Safeguarding Adults Review. When things go wrong, it's really important that we look in detail and we question what went wrong and why it went wrong and most importantly learn from what went wrong so we can put it right for the future and so on our website you will see published from time to time a SAR, a Safeguarding Adults Review. In Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly we've been running six of those over the last year and our getting through the work and slowly but surely surely publishing um, for the general public and other local authority areas and other health areas what went wrong in Cornwall. It's a confidential report, sometimes it's about an individual and sometimes it's possibly about an organisation. Um, so we're doing a lot of work on looking at our SARS and what we've learnt so that we can put things right for the future. So, for the Safeguarding Adults Board, safeguarding is everybody's business. Everybody in Cornwall's communities and the Isles of Scilly's communities. Finally, I'd like, to, I'd like to thank, as the Chair of the Board, all the members of the Board who have worked extremely hard over the last year and have been really enthusiastic about improving what we do and making sure that we keep adults in Cornwall as safe as possible. Thank you for your time.